Hey everybody, Alan Sanders here, and today I'm talking about the topic of working from home. And this is something that I love to do. Like as an introvert, I love to just sit and do my own thing, and I love to get crap done and all that good stuff. And I love working from home, but it comes with different challenges, and I want to talk about some of those today. And most of those challenges look like distractions. And I think I've narrowed it down to two different types. There's internal distractions and external distractions. External distractions are those ones that kind of, they're things that we can't control. They're, they come from outside sources, whether it's just things that happen in our lives or whether it's from people in our lives. And for me personally, what that looks like is I'll be sitting in here like working on an album or something and recording and my mom will walk in and she'll say, hey, can you help me come do the dishes? Like right in the middle of a great take or something like that. Or my dad will come in and say, can you help me mow the lawn? Or I'll get a phone call from a friend and they'll say, can you help me with my computer? And that'll take you know anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour sometimes. And so it's really important that you set those expectations up front that, yes, my work does look a little bit different. Like my hours are different. I work from home. I work at home. I am here. I'm on my computer, but just because I'm home doesn't necessarily mean that I'm available because I still have work to do, you know, and this is especially important as we have time constraints on our work. You know, for me, it's like if I don't get this album done within the next week, I'm not going to get paid. You know, So it's really important that we set those expectations up front and try to minimize those external distractions. But, you know, I think as hard as those distractions are, even more hard are some of those internal distractions. And what I mean by that is just a lack of self-motivation. And, you know, there's days where we all want to just uh, lay in bed early in the morning and sit and scroll on social media or watch Netflix or do any of those things. And it's easier to give into those things as we're at home because there's nobody to sit back and tell us to get out of bed and to work and do all that stuff, you know. But those are not valid excuses. Those are not things that will further our business, our career, or just whatever we're trying to do. And so you can't let those things stop you from doing what you know you're supposed to do. And you have to ask yourself the question, like, how bad do you really want it? How bad do you want to further your career? How bad do you want to further whatever it is you're trying to do? And I've made that mistake once before. This is actually the second time I've been able to work from home. And the first time it started out great. Like, I would work two or three hours, take a little break, and then work another two or three hours, and I would go quite a bit. Uh, but then after a while, it was like I would get maybe one thing done and then take like a two or three hour break, and it just was not working. <laughs> so you have to be motivated. Uh, you know. And I want to also talk about, for those of you who don't struggle with a lack of, of self-motivation, I want to talk about the struggle of being too motivated. And you might say, well, how is that possible, being too motivated? Well, it is possible if you work 24-7. You know, for me, I work uh, anywhere between 8 and 16-hour days, and that's quite a bit. I work seven days a week, and if you're not careful, you're, you'll burn out pretty quick. And so you have to set aside boundaries to figure out those downtimes that you have and that you need. Uh, for me, that's on a Sunday. Now, I still work from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. on Sundays, but after that, I take a break, I unplug, and I rest as much as possible. And so um, you have to get past all of those distractions to be able to be more productive. And so that's just some of the things that I think about all the time, and I hope that you do too. And actually, I want to hear some of the distractions that you face, maybe some of the challenges that you have working from home. I know a lot of us are doing that. So feel free to comment, share some of those distractions that you have, and maybe even some solutions to some of those. So I'd love to hear from you. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for some more of these videos. Again, thanks for tuning in. I'm Alan Sanders.